Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Playing Rock Toys. Today, the toy I'm after is not Nintendo related. Shocking. It's going to be a Monopoly board game. But not just any Monopoly board game. It's Monopoly for Millennials. If you browse Reddit, you may have seen this post. And yes, it's a real thing. The box cover is already gold. We have, forget real estate, you can't afford it. Poking fun at millennials. Also, vegan. <laughs> now why do I want it? Well, I feel like that Hasbro released a really good meme and I need to cop it. If you know anything about millennials, they get offended by everything. Check out this Halloween costume. It's a great representation. And luckily, I don't think I classify as a millennial, cause I was born in 99. And from the definition I found, yeah, I'm not a millennial. If you look at the reviews, you can see that some millennials are offended already. A lot of millennials own homes. And poor taste. If there's a product that offends people and it's not really that offensive, I gotta have it now. Also, the thing about millennial outrage culture is that it gets product removed off of shelves. So I gotta get this before millennials force Hasbro to discontinue the product. There's also a lot of news articles written about this board game, so I sense this is gonna be the next big trend. And I'm pretty sure everyone else wants it too. Last night, I was on Walmart and I was about to buy it, and when I was about to buy it, it said there was only two left in stock. And when I went to check out and put in my credit card information and hit buy, it said, sold out. Also, the price on Amazon has almost doubled to $42. From the original $20, last night it was at $31. But I'm not gonna pay these absurd prices, no. And it's sold out on shipping on the Walmart website, so where am I gonna get it? Not available in our Flagstaff Walmart, or it's sold out. Well, it's not available for shipping, but it's available in store at a Winslow Walmart. Checking BrickSeek, you can see there's 24 in stock there. Alexa, how far away is Winslow? Winslow is 57.3 miles away by car. Funny enough, that was the Walmart I had to drive to to buy the Super Mario cereal. How come that Walmart gets all the good stuff and our Walmarts never get anything? I'm pretty sure the population of Flagstaff is 10 times bigger than Winslow. Oh well, I'm just a YouTuber. I don't understand supply and demand. I'm gonna stop talking now, so I can drive about 60 miles away for a Monopoly game. Let's go. No! Not even these two combined will have enough mileage to get me there. <laughs> When I went to the Jake Paul concert, some triggered Jake Paul fans made fun of my crappy car. Okay, let's see what car you guys have when you're 18. That's not gonna be a problem, right? I don't know what else to say, so let's just go. Yes, my car has a cheap version of the Tesla Autopilot. What's your, what? What's your, okay, okay, what? Ooh, doggo. Alright, an hour of driving and we're in Winslow. Will they have it? Now who wants this in their house as their nectivity scene? Huh. Actually, kind of want it. It's actually so stupid, I want it. Ah uh, yes, this Walmart has this thing for the hose. I actually need this for one of my videos, and my Walmart is not selling them because it's too cold. But this Walmart, yes. I think I need a cart now. We actually ran off Tabasco, so this just turned into a shopping vlog. I'm actually curious if they have the Super Mario cereal still. <laughs> no, they do not. They like Fortnite! We like Fortnite! Okay, time to stop fucking around. To the toy section. Excuse me, where are the board games? They're back over there. Okay, thank you. Okay, no kids around so I don't look like a creep filming 
with the camera. Where is it? I see Monopoly there. Hmm, don't see it here. Fortnite, that's close, but not it. Regular one, no, this is not a Nintendo playing rock toys. And regular Monopoly. Guess I have to ask someone at customer service. Hi, I'm looking to see if something's in stock. Can I give you the SKU number for it? Um, I don't actually have that equipment to look it up, but what is it? Uh, it's called Monopoly for Millennials. Yeah, I'd say it's in stock. Let me go run back there and see, okay? Uh, just wait here? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, she's going to go search for it. It's just like last time with the Mario cereal. It's out of stock. What the fuck? Well, this is gonna be a disappointing drive home. And yes, when I check the Walmart app now, now it says it's out of stock. And the price raised up by $5 for some reason. Did some scalper just like come by and buy every box there? Or maybe it was in the back and they had to stop selling it because millennials got too offended and ordered them to take it down. Who knows? See this article by Mashable three hours ago? It's full of millennials that are pissed off by it. So I wouldn't be surprised if they pulled it because of these people. And can you tell me which Walmart this is? At least I got some Tabasco, a hose accessory, and a freaking Walmart Christmas thing out of it. Yay. The things that I didn't specifically come here for. Funny thing is, is that Brixeek says it's in stock, but I walked all over the store and couldn't find it. I don't know if I'll continue this video, but I'll sign up for an in-stock alert. So maybe I could get to drive here again. So yeah, when a new update comes about Monopoly for Millennials, I'll let you guys know. But for now, bye. Wait, guys, now it says it's back in stock. Uh, if I go here to an old tab, and refresh it, did they just change it? Y yeah what the hell, now it's back in stock. Now I gotta bother the poor Wawa employee again to look in the back, maybe. Let's go, maybe this trip wasn't wasted after all. Can we conclude this story? Hi, sorry again to bother you, but I refreshed the page and now it says it's in stock no, at Winslow, okay. 700 Mike's Pike. Let me see if I can find somebody to come up here uh, to toys and then just meet them back there. Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. They so, should be able to scan it and see if it's here. Okay, thank you very much, ma'am. Ugh, so nervous right now. <laughs> and I shouldn't be. Uh, yeah, so I was looking at the website and they changed it to back in stock uh, right here. So is it possible uh, for it to be in the back or something? I have some in the back. Do you want me to grab one or uh, could I how get, many? Could I get two, please? Yeah. Do I just wait here? Yeah. yeah. Okay, That'll thank you. Yes, taking a while. Yes, thank you. Do you guys accept tips? No, I don't think so. I wish. Thanks again. No problem. Have a good one. You too. What a roller coaster of emotions. <laughs> but I got him. Two boxes. One to open and one to keep sealed. Okay, I need a thumbnail shot. Okay, let's go. Ah. Uh. So, a disappointing drive home to an exciting drive home. Also, the lady that was working self-checkout recognized me as the kid who went to the Jake Paul concert. So shout out to you. So I guess that's another plus. Let's go home. And unbox this to see what's all the fuss about. But first, a bite to eat. And Brickseek, once again, accurately updated. It was 24, now it's 22. Nice. Alright, Monopoly for Millennials. Forget real estate, you can't afford it anyway. Poking fun at how Millennials are poor. The bikes showing that they can't afford cars. Participation award. Vegan. <laughs> Going green. I don't know what that is. Is that like, don't knowing what gender they want to be? I don't know. The 
free parking is full. I don't know why that is there. Cause I thought they can't afford cars, I don't know. Laugh until crying emoji, hashtag, and the avocados, which is probably poking fun at all the avocados on bread that they've been eating. On the back, Monopoly man taking a selfie with his Starbucks. Adulting is hard, you deserve a break from the rat race. Live a little, collect experience points. So it's not money, it's experience. The player who collects the most experience, not the most money, wins. All right, let's cut into this. Okay, let's take a look at the board first. Ah oh yes, all the places that millennials go to. Coffee bars, tarot shops, vegan places, vegetarian places, the farmer's market, thrift shops, because they can't afford anything, friend's couch, because uh, the parents kicked them out, parents' basement, because their parents are still nice, week-long meditation, retreat, don't know if they can afford that, music festivals, live work lofts, Maker space, don't know what that is. Na National parks, <laughs> animal rescue, <laughs> bike share, because they can't afford cars, yoga studio, and karaoke club. And going to jail is the same. I was hoping it would be different. Instruction manual. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. And it looks like these tokens are Instagram likes or cameras, whatever. Oh, they're likes and dislikes. I don't know what these are for, I never played Monopoly. The money, let's take a look at this. On the five, you have Starbucks coffee. On the 20, you have avocados. And on the hundred, it has going green leaves. Dice, the same. And let's take a look at the player pieces. The Monopoly Man, the hashtag, sunglasses, a radio, really who uses a radio, a bike, and <laughs> laughing to crying emoji. And finally, let's take a look at some of the cards. This is funny, cause I just hit 500k subscribers on my main channel. Lifestyle vlog, dating app, guess, mom learning how to text. Fourth job. You are accused of single-handedly ruining the napkin industry. <laughs> yep. You start a travel vlog. Time to watch the money roll in. Yep. You became a meme. Not a good one. Like this game. Oh my god! So your grandma's vintage coat. Yeah, we're gonna, I'm not gonna read them all out to like not spoil them for you guys. So, should you get your millennial relatives this for Christmas? Yep, as long as they have a sense of humor. Or if they don't, it's more funny if they don't have a sense of humor and they see this. Was it worth the drive to get this and that one also? I would say so. So, thank you guys for watching, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you later. Time to watch the money roll in. Bye! Let me also unpack this ceramic Walmart that I don't know why I bought. Kind of regretting it now. I'm pretty sure I'm the only person that bought this. Because who would want this in their house? Walmart! 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 What's inside it?